Uh, yes, uh, it is a very interesting subject and uh, the topic which the physicists had been studying for more than uh, 200, 250 years and even the, uh, the, the sages, the thousands of years, uh, they have studied the, um, the black hole and the universe. Whenever the study of universe, whenever the study of galaxy comes, the black hole study is a must and the black holes uh, and understanding is real necessity. Having said that, uh, a black hole is, uh, to just to define, define very simple terms, is an astronomical body. Hmm? So dense, it's, the density is extremely, extremely high. There is no other denser than the black hole. And the gravitational force of attraction is so high that there are no bodies other than black holes with such a high gravitational force. And the temperature of these black holes are so high that they are uh, of the order of tens of millions of degree Kelvin. I would like to give a comparison. And also the mass. Mass of these uh, you know, black holes are, are 100 times, 1,000 times, 10,000 times you know, bigger than the, you know, the sun. Uh, just to give an example of the sun. Sun is uh, the part of the solar system. The entire energy for the solar system is given by the sun. And if you see the sun, the temperature of the sun is only about... Uh, the 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 degree Kelvin at various places and at the core could be maximum of uh, about 10,000 degree Kelvin. But, uh, whereas the, the black holes have the temperatures of billions of degree Kelvin. Please imagine the type of temperature what is experienced in the black hole. And the mass of uh, the uh, sun uh, compared to those, those of the black holes is one lakh of a, a you know, black hole, which is the, the smallest of the black hole, uh, what we consider is the, the, the mass of the sun. Even the diameter and the types of radiation it can you know, um, emit is such a small uh, you know, thing compared to the black hole. Therefore, the viewers should really compare uh, to the existing, you know, our solar system, the sun, to the black hole, and it is the you know, miles and the orders difference from the solar system and the sun. Having said that, then what are these black holes? Let us see what are these black holes. Uh, in simple terms, as I said, it is the astronomical body. And how are these black holes created? Okay, there are mainly three independent physical proper properties, uh, the mass, electrical charge, and the angular momentum with which a black hole is defined. Therefore, there are uh, typically three types of black holes which are defined, which are understood by the physicists over hundreds of years. Okay, and the first and the foremost a black hole type is the gravitational collapse of heavy stars in, is assumed to be responsible for the formation of stellar mass black hole. The first type is the stellar mass black hole, which is uh, formed by the collapsing of the stars. And they, they form extremely high density mass. And whatever gets into the you know, black hole, there is no there is a one-way ticket. Nothing can return. Nothing can be reflected. Light cannot enter. See, if you want to see something, you should you should see you should pass the light when you, when the light is you know reflected you know you can see for uh, the you know um, for the viewers whenever there is a black body black body absorbs everything so that means that whatever is uh, you know reflected onto the black body it absorbs therefore you can't see anything whereas a light you know a white body you know reflects everything that's why you see see the spectrum of light therefore uh, this black hole absorbs everything is the first and the foremost you know, important parameter that we should consider. Having said that, the stellar mass black body is the first type, and the second type is the supermassive black holes formed in the center of the galaxy. It is known. These are all the known, studied black holes, and which are also of the order of many, many sizes of the sun, and the characterizing the way I explained uh, with the temperature, the gravity, and the mass. And the third and the fourth most important thing, what we are going to debate further, is that primordial black holes and the Big Bang are the hypothetical black holes. Okay, this is the third type of black hole. This is the hypothetical black hole with uh, which uh, which is expected to have been uh, created when the Big Bang uh, happened, just before the Big Bang happened. This you know uh, uh, this uh, PBH, what we call as PBH, came into existence and they started absorbing all the materials, all the radiations all the lights, etc., just before the Big Bang happened. And remaining portion of that is what is our solar system. Therefore, these are all the three types of, you know, known types of, uh, you know, uh, black holes which are, uh, you know, uh, uh, which are studied by the scientists 
which are known to the scientists, which are exposed to the scientists. And this is the most important topic of the studies for any physician. Of course, uh, yes. Actually, uh, just to give a clear understanding of uh, the uh, theory, what is uh, you know uh, getting evolved by the scientists across the globe regarding uh, the you know, PBH and which the explosion of the PBH. First and the foremost thing we should all understand is that the PBH is a hypothetical black hole. Okay, hypothetical black hole means that uh, the existence of the PBH is not understood or not known or anything like that. Is first thing which we should understand. That way, any black hole. Anybody is not able to understand just because that you cannot reach or you cannot read or you cannot uh, you know study is a situation we should understand. It is something like what we call as black you know black box. Okay, uh, therefore this is a hypothesis actually, and uh, the uh, hypo and and the theory which has evolved now that the PBH will explode and which will explode uh, within uh, in about uh, ten years that is by before two thousand thirty five itself is a probability. Okay. It, it may happen or it may not happen. Even the scientists are claiming that uh, it is a probability that 90% uh, is the probability of 0.9, we call it as in, in the physical terms, in the scientific terms, is the probability of 0.9. That is the 90% possible that it, you know, such an explosion can happen is what is uh, said. Just to give a very simple single line answer, Nothing should happen in the earth. But if nothing should happen in the earth. And uh, the, the the hypothesis, the theory, what is running around uh, regarding the PBH is that this has been happening every 10 years. Okay. It is going to happen in the next 10 years. And the theory is that it had been happening every 10 years. So billions of years. The, the, look, the earth has been existing for 13.5 billion years, which is the recorded. 13.5 to 16.5 billion years is the you know age of the earth therefore every 10 years such type of explosions have been happening is the theory therefore having said that this explosion cannot uh, you know create any impact on the earth but the situation is that the, there is uh, you know if such an explosion happens and if we are prepared to observe then uh, the uh, the studies that can be carried out will give the lead, you know the leads into how this you know uh, solar system came into existence, how this cosmos came into existence, how the galaxy came into existence, how is the galaxy uh, you know that what we call it as the black hole is there, which is a massive black hole which is uh, the center of the attraction for the entire galaxy. How did it came into existence? That can be studied. There's an opportunity for the scientists to study if such type of you know um, such type of explosion happens. Uh, just to tell you more about this explosion. Uh, in theory or in practice, there is nothing like explosion of uh, you know black hole. The black hole cannot exp you know uh, you know explode because black hole is a very high density material, high density uh, you know composite and extremely high gravity and extremely high temperature. That means there is nothing beyond. It can only become evaporate. It can only escape in terms of radiation of alpha, beta, gamma rays, which we have been knowing. And there are many other ways which can escape, but it cannot, you know, explode. But what scientists are talking about explosion is at the mouth of the, you know, uh, black hole where the material enters. See, these black holes absorb all the materials around it. For example, if there is a black hole, there are stars around the black hole, okay? And the, and the stars are attracted into the black hole and they absorb and they swallow, Okay. And they start becoming big and they, they become stronger. And that's how it happens. Therefore, when any material is attracted towards the black hole, then there will be some sort of, you know, a discharge which happens. What we call it as radiation. That can be studied. That can be seen. That is what is, uh, you know, termed as the black hole expl you know, uh, explosion. Uh, very well, uh, you know, uh, said by you. I will substantiate that uh, point. See, even in you know the uh, our ancestors, our Rishabunis, when they talked about the formation of galaxy, when the formation of uh, you know uh, the cosmos, uh, as scientists, I am also trying to see what 
studies have been done by our ancestors now i am not trying to promote any other thing that is not my intention but such type of singularities such type of existence of uh, a, you know a, 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 a point or a black hole or an um, a, a celestial subject which is which is, which itself is everything which itself is nothing like what we call as infinite zero and infinite is zero and infinity is what we defined in the science and physics and mathematics right therefore same way if you see extension of that as a celestial body as an astronomical body this is an astronomical body an astronomical body it becomes singular because that there cannot be anything beyond this the particles the the atoms the electrons the protons have got crushed to uh, the extent the gravitational force is so high the temperature is so high and the density is so high unimaginable density and please also imagine that we are talking about 1560 Uh, you know light years of distance at which the things is, things are happening 1560 light years of distance at which we are talking about the black hole and the happening and that is how this you know uh, galaxy and this how the cosmos is made and we are we sitting at earth which is nothing in 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 front of this entire galaxy the effect of uh, what is happening in uh, the black hole i don't think there is anything to be seriously worried about but we should also remember that there is lot of lot to lot to study lot to know and lot to experiment and there are lot of uh, possibilities and chances for us to uh, get into and study all this and also uh, when we talk about 150 uh, 1590 or 1550 uh, you know a light years one light year is uh, nearly 9 uh, trillion kilometers of distance travel even the light travels at a dis- at a speed of its uh, light speed and it tra- you have to travel 9 trillion kilometers for one light year please imagine 9 trillion kilometers and we cannot even imagine and we are talking about 1550 approximately 1550 uh, light years uh, that means into 9 trillion uh, kilometers you can imagine the distance at which the things are happening and that's what is this cosmos and that's what is galaxy thank you thank you all thank you very much